Thank you very much uh, for inviting all of us and particularly organizing such a kind of a wonderful uh, partnership summit, something that we had all been talking about it almost for the last couple of years, uh, which had led to a lot of other kind of uh, structural arrangements, including what uh, Rajesh just mentioned about the NKFH, the National Knowledge Framework uh, Hub itself that we really created. But then we believe that today, and as uh, the chair said, I think the opportunity for partnership the opportunity for working together is there at both the ends, not just merely the university, but even at the industry level itself. We just heard the symbiosis example. Like that, there are many, many such kind of examples that are there, even in India, including the IITs, where we have had such kind of wonderful relationship not since only yesterday, but even earlier than that. I think for all of us in the university, it's an opportunity for us to go beyond the internship, to go beyond the recruitment, to look at the industry, not just merely for the purposes of uh, just recruiting our students, not to say that that is not important. Equally, it is important for us to look at it from the perspective of the skills development. How do we really develop the skills of the, of, of the students? Now, if, if we don't have the industry coming together, I think there is always going to be a gap between what we in the academics do and what the industry is looking for. And hence, there is a need to go beyond and take a look at, let's say, how we two can work together. We are living today in an era of innovations. We are living today in an era of startups. And I don't think that this kind of an innovation era will be ever be able to take an advantage of unless and until the three significant kind of a players in the ecosystem come together. The university, industry, and the government. I believe that all the three have skill sets, have the resources to work together. And we got to really explore all these kinds of how these all these three actors can work together. How can they interface? And I personally feel that you know the consequence of this interface is phenomenal because the kind of benefits that are going to be flowing to the society are humongous. Whether we talk about it from the perspective of the most recent that we saw the health emergency, the pandemic, we talk about it from the perspective of the development of the, of let's say, the, 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 the artificial limbs that we see as getting developed. The, that the launch of many of these electronic products, for example, or for that matter, let us say the LEDs that we talk about, a whole lot of solutions for environment, for example. Today we are faced with a serious problem of environment. And to my mind, many of these kinds of issues can get resolved only when we all come together. Today, the Indian demography offers us an opportunity to do much more than what we are doing at this point of time. Not just in our own orbits, but also together, how do we create a new world? We are looking forward to a wonderful day today. And uh, I can assure you on, on behalf of FIKI Higher Education Committee that this doesn't stop over here. We are going to be looking at what are the structural arrangements that we can work so that this kind of a dialogue, this, this conversation between institution and industry continues to grow. So on behalf of HE's Higher Education Committee, I must uh, assure 
all those who have come from the industry and also those who are coming in from the higher education and from the government sources, that we are going to be working together to ensure that this kind of a dialogue continues. I'd like to take this very special opportunity to welcome uh, Mr. Ranjan Kumar Mohopatra, who is the Executive Director and Head Indian Oil Institute of Petroleum Management. Dr. Chintan Vaishnav, who is the Mission Director of the Atal Innovation Mission of the Government of India, and our co-chairs, Mr. Ravi Panchanathan and Dr. Swavik Bhattacharya. Before I conclude, let me also thank Dr. Vidya for, for, for joining us virtually. I know the kind of problem that she had back home. And so therefore, from that kind of a perspective, it's, an it's, it's the commitment of the, of, the, of the leadership to this kind of a forum that really gets reflected in this kind of a effort that has gone on from the chair as also by the organizers, the entire team itself. Thank you very much.